Okay, everyone, it's Friday afternoon, 310, and we are on our way to kick off the weekend. We're going to a, it's called Grape Escape, and it's a wine tasting experience with cheese and chocolate and 10 wine samples in a corn maze and it benefits an organization called Voice, which helps people that are hard of, he hard of hearing and deaf. And so they like, what do they do? They give people ASL interpreters and stuff if someone needs them or like in home care, stuff like that. So we're really excited. It's really close actually. It's only about 15 minutes away. And then from there, we're driving to Detroit staying the night and we're getting up at 2 a.m. to board our plane at 4 20 a.m. supposed to be in Vegas at 6 50 so yay um there's a lot of shoots here oh yeah okay so there's one there one there oh I hear some people though okay. like three over there we're so hot Chandler is sweating to death and like all we get is wine and no water and so it's a little intense but it's really fun we made it Chandler's downing his last glass we had 10 samples and they were each about half a glass so I feel like we had like five glasses of wine <laughs> we're like feeling it yeah no Okay. It's fine. So we're just gonna go, like, do you wanna visit, like, the pumpkin farm area part? Yeah, I think so. I think we should too. Like, this place is awesome. They don't even charge for you to go look in the farm part, the pumpkin part, which I think is so cool. And there's a petting zoo that they also don't charge you for, so. Can I pet some goats? Yes, I love baby goats. <laughs> So, I just drank like all of Chandler's shake. Shit. I hope he doesn't notice. Oh, all right, here he is. It would just sounded so good. Whoop, whoop. What? How's it going? It's going good. What? Nah, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. Here is my outfit. It is three in the morning, but we're feeling good. At least I am because I went to bed at 7.30. The wine hit me and I just crashed. Chandler went to bed pretty early too, 9.30, but he said he didn't sleep very well. I didn't really either, but I'm feeling better than if we had stayed up all night. And this is the outfit. I have this like super cute cropped bralette top on and we get there at 7 a.m. And so I can just take this off. We can store our luggage and then just go on a little adventure, get some brunch. These are the shoes. And I curled my hair this morning really quickly. Oh! It looks like there's a human in our bed. That's crazy. <laughs> Doesn't it? It looks like there's a body. No. <laughs> Not gonna talk. Our flight was delayed an hour, but we are on now. <laughs> Yep. And we just like came across this flamingo exhibit, which we've heard about and we just haven't been to yet. And so we're like, oh, let's just go in there really quick. And it's just Look at that fish. flamingos. 
Shrimps and koi fish and ducks. We're breathing in whatever that is. It's probably making us high, so we spend more money. <laughs> I did not know this is what it was going to be like. <laughs> We should send a picture to our peeps and be like, we've had a rough morning. <laughs> we should. It's like really nice though, because she put eucalyptus on her palms and peppermint on her back. And oh, it smells good, doesn't it? It's supposed to help with like hangovers and jet lag, which we have, I think. And maybe. I don't know, headaches. We were just so intrigued. We didn't know we had to put these in our noses though. <laughs> I thought it was a mask. I thought it was just like, I don't really know what I thought it was. So I had to take everything off because I felt like I was gonna pass out. And Chandler's still going. Yep, I made it till the end. I literally feel like I was gonna pass out. Oh, this feels so weird. Oh my god, I have to show that. Higher. That does not. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, feel fine. It's moving your body. That's not okay. Okay guys, so this is probably going to be a very short vlog because I totally forgot to film pretty much everything on Sunday. So yeah, it'll just be like a short weekend thing. Chandler is just checking his what, emails or something? Emails, yep. Before we head out, go to the airport. He is pretty tired, aren't you? I'm okay. tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good, but I also didn't drink as much last night. So yeah, but today we had brunch at a French bistro and it was so delicious. I had these mini waffles with berries, mixed berries and cream and warm maple syrup. It was so delicious. I usually never get like the sweet breakfasts because I like to have sweet coffee. So I had my black coffee sweet breakfast. It was super, super good. Chandler had steak and eggs and what else? Like rustic bread. It was so delicious. He had a cappuccino. Then we walked around um, like the Aria and the Cosmopolitan. And then we got Starbucks, which is like insane for me to do Starbucks after that breakfast. But we got Starbucks and then we walked around some more. We went to a different casino just to look at where it was placed on the strip. What else did we do? Oh, and then we went to Planet Hollywood Miracle Mile because we just didn't have really like 
that, I mean, we just had a weird... We were just killing time. Yeah. I mean, it was all fun, though. So, I went to Lululemon. Didn't get anything. Went to Lush. Didn't get anything. Went to... Where else? Like, shoe stores. Sephora. Sephora. It was so hard. But we didn't want to spend, like, all of our money. So... No. Well, I mean, we'll probably get it. Like we said, when I, we do our bigger trip in January, we will probably like buy more because this was just kind of an unplanned, random weekend and we came for the fight. So that's all we wanted to do. But we made, oh my gosh, we made the best friend at the fight. <laughs> His name was, what was it, Brandon or Brendan? I think Brandon. Brandon. And he was all by himself and like he was awesome. And he just he said he took a half day. He's a local and he came to watch the fight and Chandler was buying him beer and stuff. It, it was just so funny. And we had so much fun. Oh my gosh. Like UFC is exhilarating. And like no fight is the same. Not even no no round is even the same, usually. So that was kind of cool. Nate Diaz won because he's awesome. And then, okay, back to today. We ate at this really, I don't even know what it's. It's just like a bar, bar food type stuff. And that was, where was that? Planet Hollywood. And they had like three for $12 cocktails. So we each had a strawberry daiquiri, which I am like sugared out. I'm like, this is as much sugar as I can like have in like a week with the Starbucks, the waffles and the daiquiri, but I'm like, we're on vacation, whatever. So we each had one daiquiri and then I had a salad and he had a burger and fries and we came back to the hotel and now we're gonna go to the airport. So yeah, this is all around a really good trip. Like we were even saying, we felt like we did so much in so little time and we thought about going out last night after the fight because we were done at 9 30 but by the time we got out of there and stuff it was probably what 10 30 by mm -hmm. the time we got home and we're like oh should we go out but we were super tired from getting up at 2 a.m that morning and so we went to bed and i'm actually really happy we did because we got up at 6 30 and like went to breakfast we were at breakfast at like eight so we just had an easy, chill morning, went to breakfast, then walked around and everything, so.